What's up, my dear friends? Today, I just want to talk about the new event, which is Endgame. Giving a little bit of my thoughts about the Endgame and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. First of all, very, very cool that Twitter actually gave us another double delight which is basically every resource you get from spending prism will be double. So uh, do know that you should use your, uh, what was it? Recharger pack during this period if possible, because well, they are double effective. So let me use my energy first before we begin the video. Now that's a lot of sublime. Now the reason I choose sublime is because you always need more, but I would not recommend farming the Nitium Sage because the bonus round does not get double by the double delight so yeah that's why i'm trying to avoid and i think i have quite a lot of subline to max like I don't know, five characters or something but yeah you still need more generally because equipment are pretty important if you are not farming sublime then you can farm whatever else like resource as long as not nitium basically i also want to mention that in the gift pack section there is a free recharger pack that you can get for anyone so there's 100 blue members and there's three recharger pack you can get and of course there are other packs that you can buy if you want now on to the event so for this event there is two sections the daily expedition and the danger zone which is what we call the end game well uh, it used to be called end game uh it's a very interesting game mode where you can actually choose modifiers and getting higher score depending on it so as you can see here formless uh, now we are fighting easy so it's honestly pretty easy if you already have a well-built team you can see here ascension one rank 40 so what you need to do is actually select the mods so the third mod will usually give you the more score and uh just pick the highest one if you can handle it of course and of course see what you can handle obviously and i really really like this approach in my opinion the game has been lacking difficulty for a little bit uh if you want difficulty sure there's spire there's elysium i really do wish event can come with a little bit more difficulty so that the players who want a little bit of challenge can get that and this is a really good way to do it as you can see here we are getting 800 score and once you beat every single mod here i think you can actually jump to the next few difficulty and you can get more score from there so this means you have to fight the boss a lot more times as opposed to the last end game event where you need to defeat the boss one time only if you know how to defeat the boss so the upside is i guess it's a lot less confusing for newer player so they don't like instantly just pick the hardest thing and uh, they can still try to join the event you know, for a newer player because easy mode shouldn't be too hard and you can even just select the easy mod which literally just gives you less score just to fight with the boss i really like the photo approach to this and i need to applaud them for actually introduce all these mods because they, they are actually extra work right every single piece of mod here need to be coded into the game so yeah it's actually very very admirable for Twodog to give us this event now i haven't really seriously going to fight them yet i only did the, the easiest version just to you know test it out so i will actually uh release some guide video probably in the next few days on the higher score or what uh the maximum potential what i can do anyway because i am a free to play player there could be possible that i just can't beat the highest difficulty and i'm definitely fine with that and then we have the second uh part of the event which is the daily expedition so this is basically the the part where you need to fight a little bit more times if you are a beginner player so uh, the current expedition limit is 2000 per day so if you are behind on the schedule you might need to fight like the easy stage like 10 times or whatever so to get 6000 score uh the good thing is beginner player can still get maximum reward but you just need to fight a lot more times and if you are a end game player which you can fight peril which will give you a thousand stage reward so you only need to do two times per day and what i really like about this daily expedition is wow there is actually a different boss every single day and they are all like pretty well designed the boss is uh, fully colored and they're all like a little bit of like a trinket 
from the <laughs> the little girl which i forgot the name but yeah nothing much to say here other than just do your best and do this boss and uh do as many times as you want just so you can get the current expedition limit uh, it's not too hard honestly i just one shot every single boss in the peril <laughs> so far because i have a bonkers water team that really specialize in bursting uh and this boss they just die on one hit <laughs> i mean one round so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is the investigation notes so these are the reason why you want to do the event is the reward and of course there are multitude of other things you could do this event for number one is fun obviously and these rewards they are going up to 33 thousands and the most important rewards are probably the furniture and the star crest so how much score you will need to get everything let's find out so number one is the daily expedition so you can get maximum 1600 over here assuming you can clear the easy stage and it shouldn't be too hard ascension one rank 30 i mean most people can achieve that right unless you literally just join the game then maybe you need to grind a little bit more let me just see if you can actually get a friend unit okay you can actually get a friend unit so there's no reason to complain here just find a level 80 friend and you should be very very easily can kill at least the easy version and do it as many times as you want obviously to get a maximum score so we got 1600 from the daily expedition so that will at least get you toward to the starcraft and of course this box so that is already most of the important stuff in there and what if you want to get all the rewards the 23 thousands so if you want to get every single reward in the investigation note you will need 7000 score on the danger zone which is here i think so on average divided by five you will need at least a thousand four hundred on each stage or you can potentially get more on a certain stage if because they are easier or because you have a counter element to them so what you need to do is actually uh, i think you need to get at least heart or peril and then select uh, enough mods to get 1400 on each boss so how hard is that i believe it's pretty simple obviously it's very very easy for me because i'm a day one player but i think it should be very very doable for a free play player as well that just started like in the last two weeks or something uh definitely a really good step in the direction compared to the last end game which was extremely hard to achieve to get all the rewards for uh new players but this time i can see it's definitely very very easy and i much much prefer it this way so final verdict uh i actually really really like this event the approach uh Tordog is doing which is they make the getting all the reward very easy but then you do need to uh do the daily expedition a little bit more times and what i really like is also there is actually quite a lot of new boss and the new boss are actually quite easy which is i guess as it's kind of disappointing I, I don't even know what they are they do honestly the last two boss I don't know what they do because they just die the first round so uh, i don't know maybe i'm too strong and and the danger zone uh what i don't like about this specific danger zone is why i cannot straight up go to berserk i'm not too sure why they do this this way it may they make it so you have to actually bike the boss multiple times which is i guess in the sense it's fair but i really want to just do one time and be done sometime uh having the option to straight up do the hardest is a lot better in my opinion but i can understand why they do it this way to give more content for the game right so yeah that is pretty much all the all my opinion on the current event overall i really like it and i think this is probably the best event they do so far on the difficult standpoint uh yeah i'm excited to actually try out this boss and i'll see you all in the next video peace